Hello, and welcome back to the Edgar Wright Retrospective. Today I'm going to talk about the film Scott Poe vs. the World. Now, a little bit of a retrospective, Edgar Wright has been doing movies he's wanted to make for a while now, and Universal has been helping him out. So Universal's like, Edgar Wright, what movie do you want to make? Edgar Wright's like, I want to make an obscure Canadian comic book series into a movie, and uh, Hot Fuzz was a huge success, so was Shaun of the Dead. So pretty much at this point, uh, Edgar Wright can do whatever he wanted. So there's no reason why he didn't the editors wouldn't think it would be a great idea of Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. So Ed Wright got in contact with Brian Lee Haley and started making the Scott Pilgrim vs. the World. Scott Pilgrim vs. the World is a 2010 action comedy romantic comedy movie starring Michael Sarah, Mary Elizabeth Elvis, uh, Karen Culkin, Johnny Simmons, and uh, Chris Evans and others that ran out of this great class. And of course my favorite, the love of my life, Aubrey Plaza. The movie is about Scott Pilgrim, who wants to date Ramona Flowers, played by Mary Watson, who has seven evil exes that he must fight in order for them to date. The fight scenes in this movie are amazing. Uh, the action is great. Everything about this movie is top-notch. The action, the acting, the music is great, uh, all done by Beck. All the sex bomb music is done by Beck. So the main plot of the movie is that he has to fight his evil, her evil exes to get with her. And he also has a girlfriend at the time that he's kind of cheating on. Her name is Nice Chow. while well, he is cheating on her because he starts going out with Ramona while they're still dating. So, yeah. It's about relationships. It's about maturity. It's about all this great stuff that Edgar Wright adds to the story, to his own flavor. I love the movie. I think the movie's better than the comic. The comic's got this whole thing where... Scott Pilgrim's a bit of an asshole because of some V-chip that Gideon put into him. Which explains why he becomes more of an asshole over the movie. But in the movie, it's just he's an asshole. He's a bit of a jerk. So I think I like that better than the comic book explanation. Try to make this Scott into a Gary Stu kind of perfect person. I like that he's flawed in the movie. Uh, Chris Evans is great. It has uh, Lucas Lee. I think his name is. Yeah, uh, I think on Jason Lee, the act skater turned actor, because uh, Lucas Lee is a skater turned actor. Uh, oh, uh, for other things, Jason Schwartzman is in this movie. Jason Schwartzman, known for Wes Anderson movies, plays Gideon, the main bad guy of this movie. He's great too. The movie's funny, it's fast paced, the action is amazing, the visual effects are astonishing. This whole movie is Ed Wright's, really, is really good. It's up there with one of the best movies. Not the best, but up there. For me, it's our best are like Hot Fuzz and Baby Driver is definitely his best movies. Well, I think that's all I really have to say. I mean, just check it out if you haven't already. I was so bad this movie bombed. It was such a shame. Anyway, check out Scopper's World. That's all I have to say. Remember to like, subscribe. I'm trying to set off subscribers. I'm making that movie as soon as I get my 4K camera for my film school. See ya.